is no bueno. Give yourself a break, give yourself grace. Good morning guys and welcome back. It is the next day and made it to work with plenty of time to spare. I've clocked in and I'm good to go. The schedule for today is to actually have many of us teachers work in our room until like one this afternoon and I am not complaining about that. So with that in mind, I did bring basically the rest of the things that I had in the apartment here and I brought some cleaning, some more like cleaning utensil type things because this is probably going to be the day that we have the most time to work in our classrooms so i'm really excited about that i think i'm going to just write some things on the board like immediate to do things so that i can like help myself see the end goal in mind so let's go ahead and get those things out of my car So I'm feeling pretty good about this list. So I'll start with emptying the file cabinets, moving out the old ones, moving over the new one, clearing the door pathway, and then moving over that table to work toward um, setting up my teacher corner. So let's go ahead and tackle those. Notice the nice white waxed floors with that one. Those file cabinets have been there for a minute and obviously it's done something to the wall. So I think I'm going to try to clean up the wall area a little bit first before I move that guy over here. type A of a teacher to like super worry about that, especially because the cabinet will mostly be covering it. So I think it's time to move over the new cabinet. sure that this is going to work right here. I'm leaving like some space right over here um, for a little vacuum cleaner I have and then like a broom and stuff is like where I like to keep those particular cleaning machines because I mean obviously there are some lovely custodians here but it's kind of expected that you need to get your own things for cleaning and things like that. So I'm going to kind of shift some things around and see if I can even start moving those cleaning supplies and that big wood topper. Okay. 
you know? I like it a lot. It's even bigger than the one I had. The other one was three by five. This is four by six. And the little gradient I was telling you about, it's like you can almost see some pinks, pink like lines through it. I don't mind it at all. And I like how it's actually like a non-slip type one. And it's definitely, it's even machine washable and vacuumable, obviously. guys so I made some adjustments to the placement of the table compared to the carpet I cleaned up my chair the area is clear over here I have a bunch of these chairs that need to be moved and I think what is next is that I will oh yes I think I'll go ahead and refill these cabinets, which will also help me see if my cabinet is far away enough from my desk for it to like open. So let's even take a look, see really quick. Yeah, that opens nicely. So I'll go ahead and start refilling the cabinets with some of these things so that I can maybe clear some things up. So I've moved over the file um, folders from where they were sitting on the desks and I am going to kind of look through and see if I can organize them to the best of my ability as far as like what order I want certain things to be in, maybe even toss out things that I don't need anymore. Thankfully, I've tried to do my best to not like just stash, stash, stash things away, but we'll kind of see how I'm able to organize and then kind of put some things away. Oh my goodness, I am so pleased with how the filing cabinet turned out. I decided to organize it by having certain files and stuff face me. So that since I will most likely be sitting in my desk and grabbing some files or filing something away, that I can see very clearly like what I'm putting or where I'm putting the document. Best $50 from Facebook Marketplace for school so far. And this also means that I can cross off something from my new list, which was to refill the new filing cabinet. Next, I'm going to go ahead and place the rest of the furniture that's sitting on the back.
welcome to the end of the school day. It's already like 3.35 already, so super crazy. I was talking to my mentor teacher and she reminded me of something. Basically, she was saying, remember that they're going to be doing a lot of work on their Chromebooks, like whether we like it or not, like their Chromebooks are a huge technological thing that they need to access and need to use for so many things. And so if I have so many seats that are like super angled, I'm not really going to be able to see what they're doing on their Chromebooks. And that is no bueno. So with that, I kind of think I'm going to adopt the same thing that I did last year, except even simpler almost. And like still do like each person on his or her own and like just straight rows like that. I think I'm just going to do that at least for the first little bit and then yeah and then I'll check back in with you guys. Here we are again. I've changed up the look of it just a little to say one task at a time. So I'll start these things tomorrow. But goodness gracious, what a day it has been. I'm like looking out at my classroom and I'm just grateful upon grateful for um, having the health to be able to do all these things and to unpack and to do all of that and things are really shaping up so much faster than they were last year when I was first starting here so if you are starting first time at a school somewhere like give yourself a break give yourself grace as you set up your classroom and maybe if you have set up your classroom already for this year again continue to give yourself grace because the classroom is an ever changing ever updating process and it might take a while to find what you like. Even for me, I'm still thinking about what I like and I'm about to go into finishing my sixth year of teaching. Like, it's kind of crazy how you can continuously grow and get better at so many things within the teaching profession. And I really, in a sense, like that a lot about teaching. But looking out at what I've been able to do, very grateful, very happy with the progress I've made. If I can get those things done, which I'm sure I can, um, I'll be a pretty, in a pretty okay spot to um, prepare myself for next week. So, and the kids start again um, this coming Thursday. So that'll be pretty crazy. But that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow.